A box of mass m is on an inclined plane that makes an angle of theta with the horizontal and is in contact with a spring of spring constant k. So the box is up here. It is then released and it compresses this spring and amount delta x slides down delta x so the spring is also compressed delta x and then it rebounds. We want to find out this value of delta x before the box starts going back up in the upward direction. So this is a conservation of energy problem and we start with the beginning where all you have is gravitational potential energy when it's in this position. When it gets down to here it will have an elastic potential energy and a gravitational potential energy. Its initial height we're going to call h0 and h0 is the height from here down to the bottom. Here, where it has elastic potential energy, it's 1 half k delta x squared, it also has a potential energy where the distance from here to the bottom is h. These are final quantities and we're just leaving out the f to save subscripts. We isolate 1 half k delta x on the left side and on the right we have h0 minus h times mg. Well, what is that equal to? Well, that's equal to this change in height here, okay, because if I have this is h, if I subtract out, excuse me, this would be h0, and if I subtract out h, which is this value here, I get delta h. Once again showing that the important thing in gravitational potential energy is the change, not the absolute values. So I now have mg delta h. I divide through by k, multiply by 2. I have delta x squared is 2 over k, mg delta x sine theta. One last step divide out this delta x and I have my final answer here that the distance the spring the box will move down the incline is 2 over k times mg sine theta.